Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Path of Titans video and welcome back to a brand new series on the channel. So you guys have really been enjoying the Is It Worth Growing series and I still will continue that, but I thought I would do another one and do a Is It OP series. And in this video, we're going to be asking, is the Noviana OP in this game or is it just right? Now I'm going to do this series with modded dinos as well as official dinos. And if you have any dinos you want me to do this series with, let me know. So how this series is going to work is I'm going to fight somebody in 1v1s and see how this dino can fare out and if it's OP or if it's more balanced or very underwhelming. So before we get into the combat, let's go over the stats real quick so you guys know what we're working with. So the Noviana only has 800 health, which is the same health that a Sarko has. So it's not that much health, but it's still a decent amount. He has a max stamina of 225, which is less than the DASP. And then he has a combat weight of 5,500, which weighs a little bit more than the Sarko and the Suko. He has a sprint speed of 1,200, which is the same as the Alio Ramis. So his sprint speed is pretty good. He can run a little bit faster than the Alo. Even if it doesn't look like he's running that fast, he is pretty quick. His stamina drain, though, does go down pretty fast. So if you do any of his jump attacks... That drains your stamina significantly, and in battles, that can be a downfall. So let's go over the moveset really quick. He has a regular bite that does 60 damage. He has a ripping bite that does 40 damage with bleed. He then has a front and limb attack that only does 40 damage as well. He has a lunging and a pouncing attack. The lunge attack does 70 damage. The pounce attack does 40 damage up to two times and with 0.6 bleed. I personally just use the lunge because it's, you know, 70 damage. I figured it would be a little bit better, but you could always test those out and see. For a back limb, he has a diving ability able for him to swim, get increased swim speed, oxygen, and dive underwater. These things are really good in water as well. And then he has a regular tail attack that does 35 damage or paddle to increase more swim speed. Also, if you guys don't know, I'm also on my server, Simply Jurassic, where I have up to 100 slots. So if you guys ever want to come to my community server and play, everyone in here is a really good community. It's pretty chill. And if you become a YouTube member on my channel, you get a nice blue name with um, unlimited marks. You get as much marks as you want. And you also get to help me out filming YouTube videos. So shout out to Gil James Hill. He's one of the members helping me out with this video. If you become a member, the link is in the description. Join the Discord after you become a member. And then just DM me letting me know you did. And I'll update your status. All right, so we're going to do a series of rounds here. So we're going to start off with smaller dinos. And we're going to 1v1 them. That is a Metri right there that we're going to go against. And then we're just going to go up from there and see how the Noviana can hold up. So on my roar, we're going to begin. And we're basically going to fight to the death. So good thing about the Noviana is he's pretty quick, but sometimes he can be too quick against smaller prey. So we're going to try to do a claw attack here. There we go. We got a head off. The good thing about the Noviana, though, is his tail is so long. So you can literally have... Insane reach. We're going to try the pouncing. The pouncing is a little bit harder to land. It's more easier to land on bigger dinos for sure. I'm trying to get the reach with the tail. Oh, that didn't connect. The stamina. There we go. So obviously if you're 1v1ing a little guy, you should do fairly well. You can see we barely lost any health. Which is good. Even with the Venom, I feel like the Venom in general is just horrible in this game. So hopefully they can buff the Venom. Alright, now we're going to go into medium-sized Dino, the Allosaurus. And we're going to see how we can hold up. Allosaurus definitely going to be very quick. But I think even in a face-taking battle, you should be able to win. You can see as long as he right his tail. The Noviana is so quick, he can't even get behind me. We're going to get some room here. I want to try the Pounce. It's hard to gain distance to really do the, the Pouncing or the Lunge Attack. Oh, we're just running in circles. Okay. I fucked up. Alright, we're gonna try to do the lunge now. Ooh, we got a nice one on there. He's getting weak, but you can see the Alice doing a lot of bleed on us. As well. We got him hurt. Look at our health, though. Literally, full bleed. We will bleed out if we don't stop this bleed. But I, we have to get the kill off, otherwise we're going to die. Ooh. There we go. Half HP against one aloe. And then now we go against the Rex. And we're going to see how this plays out on my roar. 
So if you run into a wild Rex... Now when it comes to the lunge, you have to be fairly close. The lunge is actually not that far. Let's try not to get bone broke here. If we get bone broke, we're pretty much screwed. Good thing about the Rex is you could gain some distance. Hit him with the lunge and just run him around. Make him chase you, waste his stamina. Whoa, what the hell is... <laughs> he like boosted. You want to just tail ride him and just uh, bite him in the ass and avoid his bites. Oh, his bites are doing him good damage, though. Got us almost halfway, but if we keep biting him in the back... Oh, Jade, you gotta get him. Oh, you might get us. Ah, okay. So even though um, he did avoid a lot of bites on me and he was hitting me with his tail, but you can see once he actually landed bites on me, he was doing damage, but we were able to get him down to at least a quarter health. So against one Rex, you might have a little bit trouble unless you're good with your movement and you can really get behind him and avoid those bites because one bone break, you're pretty much done. All right, now we are going to do a 1v2 and see how he can handle himself if you're getting attacked by a group or a little pack of aloes. So you can see we pretty much defeat one aloe, but what happens when we go against two? And we're going to find out. So first, we're going to try to single one out here. Have them, like, I guess when you're getting chased, just run, because you can run a little bit faster than them. Have them run behind you and just whack them with your tail a little bit until they back off. I'm gonna try to do some damage here and just... You gotta like zigzag. Try to avoid bites as you can. And we single one out. And I'm just focusing one right now. We get rid of run one, then we have a much better chance. And depending on how this aloe plays it... It's really tough for them, I feel like. The Noviana is actually really good. But you can see we're actually really hurt as well. Ah, oh, shit. We gotta be careful. Now we're getting hurt. Oh, I got stuck under... What? I got stuck under his body. I'm out of stamina. GG's. Oh, wait, wait. We might be able to win this. Hold on. Use your long tail to keep him distance. Oh, we missed. Oh my god, he's on my body. <laughs> I couldn't get it. He's like on top of my head. I realized after the fight that I wasn't even a full adult because when I died to the Rex, I forgot to make myself adult again, but it's all right. Overall, you can see how the Noviana is. And the question is, is the Nova Noviana OP or not? And I will say not. I think he's fairly balanced, but very strong, but not strong enough to where he's just straight up OP. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, new series. If you want me to make more videos like this, let me know in the comments below what dino you want me to do next. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.